This work is about leveraging stereo camera data for real-time dynamic obstacle detection and tracking. For mobile robots, dynamic obstacle avoidance is crucial for compliant navigation in crowded spaces. In this paper, we present a method for accurate and reliable dynamic object detection and tracking. Our solution is applicable to cost-efficient stereo camera setups and runs in real-time on a standard CPU. The inputs of our system are the poles of the robot and stereo images. The first module performs depth estimation based on the serial images and generates a 3D point cloud. The subsequent module clusters the point cloud to identify individual objects and tracks them through frames. To perform the tracking, we associate the centroid of each cluster to its nearest neighbor in the previous frame. The resulting tracks are shown in yellow. The third module classifies individual objects as either static or dynamic. To perform this classification task, we use per point global nearest neighbor searches and a per cluster voting scheme to classify the objects as static or dynamic. We mark objects that were previously occluded or newly entered the field of view as uncertain until we can re-observe and classify them. To make the dynamic object classification more robust, for example to also classify a standing person correctly as a dynamic object, we augment our pipeline with a 2D people detector. Here we show that with the people detector, we can classify the person as a human, and hence as a dynamic object immediately. In order to avoid crossing the paths of pedestrians, the robot also needs to estimate their motion. For this, we use a 2D constant velocity model, which also enables us to catch short time occlusions. For example, when a person is occluded by a pillar or other people. Finally, we generate an occupancy grid that is suitable for a path planner to avoid obstacles. We create three maps in parallel, one for static, one for dynamic, and another for uncertain objects. In each of these maps, the obstacles are represented as positive costs at their respective location. We use 3D voxels to store static objects. For uncertain objects, we only create short-living costs, and for dynamic objects, we expand the costs in the direction of estimated velocity. This representation can finally be used by robots to plan paths that are compliant for navigation with humans. Thanks for watching.